Hey guy from New Plastic and today we'll explore procedural bokeh in Octane. I made a pack of custom bokeh images made this way which can be used with any engine which also includes a set of procedural bokeh effects for Octane. It's very affordable so check it out on the New Plastic Gumroad store. If you feel like you need it, it's a great way to support the channel along with getting prints and pins I made from the Pink High Gumroad store. And of course consider becoming a patron or member so you could watch all these videos with no ads, get access to the project files, free products from the store, as well as other cool perks, but mostly help me make more and better content for y'all. Follow me on Instagram at ojang or the channel at brand new plastic, join our discord, subscribe, make pizza at home, it's not just fun, but it's a beautiful thing to do with your family and friends. Let's go. So we have the default circular bokeh now, let's change it to custom. And the cool thing is that we can actually use some of these procedural effects to affect the look of the bokeh. Let's start with custom textures. And in order to be able to really control everything, let's click down here to get into the node manager. So now you can see we have the custom texture node here. You can't physically connect it to anywhere, but it's still affecting the custom channel, as you can see here. So the default custom texture node is set to float texture, but if you click on the basic tab, we can select all the other types of custom texture nodes. For this example, let's choose gradient generator. Sometimes you'll have to re-render the scene, but already we're getting this really simple but really sick linear gradient on our bokeh, which is just lovely. Now we can just adjust it however we want. So we can change the scale to get more gradient repetitions. We can change the gradient type for different looks. I mean, look at this, it's already looking so cool. But yeah, here we can get either sophisticated or really simple shapes, circular or polygonal or linear, but they're still kind of perfectly geometrical, which we can break with the distorted UV projection node. If I plug the noise texture to the translation slot, I can start slowly distorting the texture. And you know, larger noise scale will get you larger distortions, and you can play with the details of the noise to get more or less detailed distortions and play with the distorted UV settings to get more or less distortion. Another thing we can do for even more complexity is if I add a multiply node while the custom texture node is active, it'll actually automatically connect the custom texture node to a multiply node. So now I can mix the gradient with another procedural node like chainmail, for example. And look at that, we're getting the chainmail texture in the bokeh mixed with the gradient. Isn't that kind of insane? I mean, it's like not the most useful thing I've ever thought of, but it's just such a low key cool effect. Okay, lastly, let me duplicate this camera and remove all these nodes. And I'll add, mm, not this, I don't know, a painted colors effect from the procedural patterns nodes. The cool thing about this whole procedural style is that I can easily animate this effect and get animated bokeh. And if I quickly render this animation, yeah, just, I don't know, I absolutely love this. So yeah, procedural bokeh, who in the hell would have even thought? I know I didn't, but I'm probably going to use this more than ever just for the quirky aspect of it. Get the procedural bokeh pack for my gumroad, prints and pins on my pink eye gumroad, consider supporting on Patreon and a cinematic explosion of gratitude to all my beautiful patrons and members you see on the screen right now. I love you. Have a great day. Peace.